popping guy Sean on his back with a technical analysis. Here we have Pedro Diaz um, with a nice two turn or two, two wind four turn weight throw. So let's take a look. Okay, so overall, I really like the look of the throw. Um, the, yeah, the overall essence is nice. So, <laughs> essence, what a, what a word. Okay, so let's break it down. Pedro. Um, so, I can't tell what weight this ball is. Um, but uh, you move with it pretty well. Um, as most people know, I'm generally not a fan of winding the weight, let alone winding it twice. Um, I think, I mean, you do a good job of transitioning one wind into the other. Like, you actually use the uh, both winds pretty well. Um, so, you know, keep, keep rocking that, I guess. I would definitely just say, um, let's break it down frame by frame. Uh, just try to keep your hands up and make sure that you're loading this left side appropriately. Um, nice little step out. Eyes to the right, just slightly, shoulders turning back, catching nice and solid, nice and early, right arm's extending, you could try to extend your right arm a little bit more over here, but I know that's hard to do with the weight, but like I said, this left side's nice and loaded, that's great, right foot, you can see you turn inside of the ball just a little bit, this left side kind of opens up as the ball goes through zero, um, but otherwise, like this is pretty solid off the wind, so, you know, keep rocking that, you're doing a good job with it. Maybe keep your hands up a little bit more and try to extend your right arm a little bit sooner. Um, also try to use your right leg a little bit more. This left hip shifts back just slightly. Um, left left leads just a little bit. Um, so I think that would uh, serve you to... Uh, you need to get this right leg turning with the ball a little bit more. Use this right foot a little bit more. You shift this left side back to get the right side around. Um, which is exactly what happens. You can see your left side as the ball comes through zero. You're right about here and then it's going to shift back over the next 10 frames or so as the ball goes left instead of sending the ball around your left side. Otherwise, posture is pretty solid. Hips, shoulders, everything nice and aligned. Um, level shoulders get a little tilt. Level hips, this is really nice. There's a little tilt in the shoulders. Catching early, stepping towards the sector is really nice. Um, as you come through on the second turn, the left heel gets down nice and early. Right foot is finally turning with the ball, so that's good. You just need more of that earlier in the entry. Um, a little tightness through this left, tightness through both arms. Level shoulders though, left foot goes just a little bit early, but you're really keeping your legs nice and level, not trying to stand up too much, keeping the hips level, shoulders. You can see there's a little tightness in this left side, and I think that's going to be the, the, the biggest, my biggest gripe with, um, excuse me, green tea break. Um, that's my biggest biggest gripe with this throw is that your left side's a little tight, your arms are a little bit tight throughout the throw. But otherwise, your lower body is looking really nice. Right knee is turning into left knee. Left foot opens up just like a little early, like I said. Um, but you can see the tightness in the arms. Try to relax your shoulders more and let the ball go longer to the left. If you do that, it will be so much easier for you to throw far. You can see, once again, this position right here. You can see how much tension is through the arms and the shoulders. Um, Nice, efficient single support, though, once again, stepping in the direction of the sector. Looks like you come down on the heel, sort of, or at least flat-footed, but then you do a good, good job of turning out of it once again. That left heel gets down nice and early, which means you can work the ball nice and long. Um, left side holds pretty well. You kind of you kind of have a Dempsey McGuigan looking kind of throw these last couple turns. Um, very good job staying down. Right leg is doing an incredible job working here, so once again, like I said, in the first turn in the entry try to get this same motion sending the ball around the left side I think you could hold this left side just a little bit more and let the ball pass um, I think yeah so, so try to think about holding this left shoulder left hip left knee hold it and send the ball wide left around it um, the only way to really do so is to let the ball go and like I said with that just the tightness through the arms it's hard to do that because you're always in control. You never let the ball go free out to the left. Right leg, right foot's turning really well still. Left side comes out of the way. A little tilt in the shoulders, but another good step towards the sector. Once again, with a kind of flat-footed sort of thing, but then you, your right foot, once again, like I said, is turning really well. This is, this is, once again, some kind of textbook turns, at least through the lower body. Um, you can start to see the upper body start to tighten up more. 
right arm is getting a little bend in it, left side, left shoulder is getting a little bit higher. You can see some tension through there. Um, and you see the right hip come around the left, that's a very good turn. Left shoulder shifts back just a little bit because of that tightness through this left side. But that right hip going around the left is really nice. Really good turn. Really good turn there. Nice textbook posture. Like I said, your posture, your lower body is really nice throughout this entire throw. I think you just need to relax your upper body more. Um, right side works through. Coming up through the ball. Really nice finish. Really nice throw overall, Pedro. Like I, I like this throw. If my throw looked like this, I'd be pretty happy, um, barring the tight upper body. So, um, one more time through it after a little green tea break once again. All right, so the lines are good. You do a good job stepping up that left side. Um, like I said, try to reach your right arm out more over here to the right more on the entry rounds toward, towards 270. Um, keep turning the shoulders back and get that right leg to turn more. Like you see your right leg really gives to the ball in these few frames. Use your right leg to send the ball out left. The more right side you use, the longer it's going to get out left, the better feeling you're going to have. Uh, another recommendation in general, if you aren't using some sort of tacky, meaning toss and sauce, um, tough skin spray, stuff like that, those two are my favorite. Toss and Sauce is by far my favorite from throwbros.com. Um, use some of that and put it on your the inside of your right hand and the outside of your glove and stick your hands together so that way you can relax them more and just keep crushing this lower body. Keep working that lower body well and you'll relax the arms. You know, get an extra three, four inches of, of radius in each turn and then you'll start throwing like two, three meters further than you probably already are because that's how awesome using tacky is. Um, overall, yeah, you just need to relax your arms, relax your shoulders, your lower body's on point, your posture is really solid, that's just these tight arms, all right? So you just need to relax, let the ball get long, let the ball pull you forward towards 180, and uh, just, yeah, you just gotta let the ball get a little bit more free in each turn. So think like, uh, you know, as the ball comes around left, just let the ball relax and stretch a little bit more. Like I said, around, out to the left and forward. Let the ball stretch. I think I've said that about 10 times this video. But like I said, your lower body's pretty solid. Hips always going around each other. Smacking the finish. So that's, like I said, overall really solid throw, Pedro. Um, I like I like it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And uh, I'll be sure to help you out because that's what I'm here for. I'm a man of the people. Um, yeah, so as for anybody else out there who wants a technical analysis, go to www.seandonnelly.biz slash technical. No, just go to the services page, and there's an in-depth technical analysis. Go sign up for one. It, um, yeah, 15 bucks, and a nice in-depth analysis of your throw to start setting PRs during championship season, conference championships, starting up here indoors. NCAA is coming up here soon. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Sean Don, peace and out. Uh, until next time.